been a while um, on this camera. Hope it's not gonna fall. But I have a special video for you guys today. We're going to. Um, I'm not gonna say. It. I'm gonna just show you when I get there, man. But it's a special video. Um, I was DM by a uh, fellow supporter. He wanted us to come out there and record some um, cool videos for you guys. So. All right, guys, we're back, and I don't know if you can tell where we're at, but we're at Corsa Crew and Slick Obsession. They're gonna give us a tour of the whole building, um, show us what they do, show us uh, part of their everyday, you know, things. So um, I'm gonna let my buddy here, Gary, he's gonna introduce everything and show you, you know, a little bit more and more than I can tell you because I don't really know anything. Have a boy Trey with me. Yes, sir. So uh, let's go. Come on. What's up? This is Gary. What's going on? My name is Garrett Fortenberry. We're here with Corsa Crew and Slick Obsession Detailing. We do a little bit of both. Uh, we do high-end detailing, ceramic coating, paint protection, film installation. But we also have a fleet of track cars. We run out with the Corsa Crew side and we offer service stuff. So today we're just kind of going to go around the shop, kind of show you what's all good, what we have to offer, and just give everybody kind of an inside look of what we got going on right here in Leeds, Alabama. First, this is our retail side. We have the Slick Obsession side where we have our products. We're a Wolfgang ambassador. So we have everything from like waterless wash, SIO2 waterless rinse, and all sorts of other cleaners. Uh, we're partnered with Steg Film, so we do all sorts of paint protection film uh, to kind of protect the cars. And then also, we have the retail side for the Corsa Crew things. Uh, we're a dealer for Garmin, so if you need any track day timers or anything like that, the Garmin's the way to go. Uh, we also have Garmin watches, uh, we're a supplier for Rhino wheels. Uh, but one of the coolest things we offer here is our Nemesis Labs stuff. So we work with a guy locally in Alabaster, his name is Sean, and they build simulators. So one of the cool things that we offer here is we have a simulator room. It is a fourteen thousand dollars rig, Jeez. and we rent it out. So, like, let's say you're going to Texas next week. You've never driven that track. Well, you can come here, rent our sim, and we'll pair you up with a coach. And you can actually learn the track, learn the technique before you ever go out there. So you have some experience and kind of like knowledge of what the track is like. Uh, so that's our coolest thing. It's got everything from a rumble. Uh, thing on the back, so all the engine vibrations, you're going to feel those frequencies through the chair. The actual chassis though is the most impressive because they custom build these to fit anybody. It doesn't matter if you're seven foot tall or you're four foot nine, this rig will fit anyone. Yeah, you know, the pedals move, the seat moves, you're more than welcome to hop in it. Uh, if we have some time later on, we'll fire it up. Maybe you can Heck get yeah. Heck yeah. Laps. Heck yeah. Uh, these are actually rental helmets, so like you come with the track, you do a track day with us, we'll just rent you a helmet. Okay. Um, if need be. A lot of merch, I like that. Yeah, we have shirts. Um, we also sell um, chill out stuff. So like if you're in the race car and you get real hot, we actually have the shirts that feed the water through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Whole shirts kind of insulated. Oh, that's neat, man. Um, but there's not too much going on in here. This is. This is our simulator room. Mm -hmm. You want you to chill out if it's being rented, it's just our uh, coach and whoever is renting right there. How much is it to, if somebody wanted to come up here and rent? So it's going to be 75 per hour, two hour minimum. That's not bad. That's, not bad. Yeah, so that's, that's good. good. Uh, we have a 330 i right now that's getting two step paint correction, uh, wheel coating, ceramic coating, uh, full deep interior. Um, window coating, so it's in about $1,800 worth of stuff. Jeez, um, on a 330i. <laughs> uh, well, we just got done with the interior. Uh, seems we made a pretty good comeback. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that looks good, man. That looks really good. It looks brand new. Yeah, 
see that? That's crazy. Shout out to, to Moto Auto House. They have been sending us a ton of good clients. Uh, they're great people. If you have any BMW stuff you need work on, Motor House. Oh, all right. Uh, and they'll also kind of show you the wheel coating stuff that's going on. So hopefully it's not too well. But what they're doing right now is they're prepping the caliper for ceramic coating and they're cleaning all of that up. So the brake, like caliper, is not going to hold that brake dust anymore. Okay. So it's going to be easier to clean, it'll stay clean longer. Uh, it just makes maintenance a lot easier. Okay. And we'll coat like the face of the wheel and the barrel of the wheel. So the whole entire wheel, front to back, top to bottom, has been coated. So like that wheel maintenance, you know, like cleaning wheels is a pain. Yeah. So like once you put that coating on there, it just makes it so much easier. Oh yeah. All for paint protection film, which I'll kind of touch on a little bit later. Um, but that's one of our biggest things right now is that that clear film that goes over the cars. It'll protect you from rock chips, light scratches, like someone slams a buggy into your door. Yeah. It'll save you from that. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's one of the cool things. Uh, this is David, by the way. This is actually the owner of Second Century. Hey, man. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Miles. Nice, nice, to nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us come in and yeah, walk yeah, around, man. For sure. No problem. This is actually a rental car. This is a GT4 Club Sport. It's one of 300. Jeez. Uh, this one actually has a motor swap out of a 911 in it. Makes no. around 500 wheel on race gas. Tuned down to about 420 for like rental purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, but like we'll rent it out on like street tires. Or if you want to rent it out, we can run it on slicks. We can run it on slicks too. That's crazy. Uh, so this is actually another rental too. So we rent this one out. I took it to Cars and Coffee the other day. I seen it. Yeah. Yep, yep. So that was me. And us as Ford the crew. Um, this is probably our most popular rental. We are the only people in the U.S. with a GT3 for rent for track days. Really? Yeah. So if you want to rent a GT3 RS, we're the only spot to rent. At least as I know of right now at this. Point. That's crazy. The interior options are pretty good. So Basin Alcantara. Alcantara everywhere. <laughs> carbon fiber seats. Uh, my favorite thing about this car and most torches, this is the door handle. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, Wait, say huh? Yeah, so you actually pay more for a piece of rope, which is kind of a weird option. And I see that the key is a, is a color match, the key? Yeah, the key is color match. Uh, oh, that's cool, man. You see right there in the window, that's actually uh, one of the Garmin mounts. So okay. that tablet that right I was kind of talking about earlier, you can put that on there. Yeah. And it just kind of displays your track times, where you are on the track, G-forces, that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. it'll actually coach you and tell you like where you should be on the track, should you brake later, brake sooner. Mm -hmm. So you have like essentially like a Siri race coach that's cool. in this tablet. Um, so it's definitely worth the money because like yes. most of the guys that are running these don't race competitively. Right. Uh, they're just like a good point in their life, they're retired and they've been successful and they want to go out for a weekend and they want to drive these on track. So that's kind of the clientele we're kind of focused towards. But I mean if anybody wants to run like these for the world. This is it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Guys, you gotta come check this out. Steering wheel, full roll cage. Oh, this is awesome. 
It's like bare bones. It is. That's yeah. crazy. And this is all from the factory finished one. Really? Yeah, so like if they come like this, like there's a couple things that aren't factory with it. Like we have a chill out system in it, like the cool shirt thing I was yeah. talking about. Uh, the seats, I don't think can factory. Um, and a few other things, like maybe the rear view mirror, but pretty much all this is factory. Wow. How much does it weigh? Probably. David, how much do you think the club sport weighs? I think it's 20. I think they said it was 2650. 2650. Oh man, it's pretty light. It's pretty light. <laughs> it's a lot for the, or, uh, really light with power that it makes for sure. So check out the brake counters on this. So like if you get it from this angle, it's the thickest brake counter. Oh god. Like the thick. pad itself is about an inch thick. Jeez. I don't know if you'll be able to like. Yeah, I don't think it could. Yeah. I don't think it could get. Put a light on. Yeah, put a light on that thing. We gotta get that thing up close. Uh, you can see yeah yeah that thing is wide yeah, wide there it is yeah heck yeah for like shipping for other people like let's say you had a car you wanted to get to the track like mm -hmm. sometimes we can work something out uh, one of the cool things with Corsa is it's a pretty small industry and the track day rental stuff so like if you want to make it happen we can probably make it happen. Cool. Like if you wanted this car in California, like two months from now, mm -hmm. we could probably do it. What's the furthest you've seen a car? He went to VIR, he went to Sebring, he went to Washington Glen in New York. Jeez. Yeah. So he's, he's been a pretty good ways. Uh, he did go to Coda. I think he went to Coda with this one, maybe? Yeah. Uh, Texas. Yeah. Wow. He's been a pretty good ways. Yeah. Wow. Let's go along to the... Uh, for a second it's like 105 miles. heck yeah man <laughs> yeah so we have a warehouse up top where we store our cars and customer cars so like if you had a car you want to store here we can make that happen uh, as long as we got room uh, we also store stuff like tires like let's say you want to keep an extra set of pads extra set of tires uh, extra oil we can actually like have that on standby so like you come off track you need some for your car we have it already we have our full fleet, but we do have some full stuff. Ooh. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So this is a customer car. That's one of our dead customers, Todd. Um, this is a GT3. That's actually uh, Layton's stepdad. Oh. The other kid that's down there. Yeah. Uh, but he's been with us for a long time. He stores his car here. So like when he wants to do a track day, he just shows up at the track, we deliver the car, he hops in, it's already full of gas, oil, Jeez. brake pads. So, I mean, when you're looking for that full, like, no bumps in the road experience, like, yeah. that's what we try to, like, give people. So, he, he just shows up and that's all he uses for it? Just track days? Just track days, yeah. <laughs> so we, yeah. He shows up on the weekends at Barber's, hops in the car and goes. So this is another customer car we're storing. Uh, this one's, like, super track prep, so it's pretty much a full-blown like track car per se mm -hmm. uh, then this is a rental car this is our Cayman GTS we have two of these we have a black one and a red one this one's sexy the red one's not here unfortunately but if you've seen this one you've pretty much seen the red one yeah <laughs> not special, but these I think are our best product to like rent because you're not rear engine they're mid engine versus mm -hmm. the 911 so like the handling on this is next to none. Yeah. Uh, so this is the tried and true mini right here. <laughs> this is actually what started our business. Really? really? Yeah, so this is the car that started it all. It is the roughest. <laughs> it's not pretty, but man is it hard. <laughs> it's uh, got tires, brake pads, braided brake lines, high temp fluid, and it's been completely pumped down. But other than that, it's a bone stock. <laughs> I love the inside of these minis. I've driven one before. It's like a freaking go kart. It is like a go kart. Yeah, literally. That's pretty cool. Uh, another customer car. So we actually Ooh. do service on this one. Um, so this one's set up for track days. We put the cage in, the seats in, the harnesses in. Um, I think we did some suspension work, track day alignment. Um, so if you needed a roll cage put in, seats put in, harnesses put in, yeah. we can do that. Oh man, I, I just, something about seeing roll cages give me excitement. This is how you know they go fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the tour 
of Slick Obsession and Corsa Crew Race Building. Uh, I mean, some stuff you'll never see. And we're in Birmingham, so you gotta you gotta uh, appreciate all of that stuff. So we're gonna let Gary get the outro, man, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. First off, I want to say thank you to Cars of Magic City. Y'all are awesome. Thank you, thank man. Thank you for coming out. Cause like one thing I always want to do is I want to share the experience with everybody. Like yep. cars aren't just for a select few people; they're for everybody. Um, but thanks for coming out. I hope everybody enjoyed the tour. You know, I did the best I could kind of trying to showcase everything. So uh, if there's anything you want to see in the future, let us know. Mm -hmm. If you need service, let us know. Detailing, let us know. Besides that, I think it's a wrap here at Corsa Cruise Slick Obsession. For sure, man. Um, you can find them on Instagram. Are you on Facebook also? Uh, not on Facebook. Well, Corsa Crew is on Facebook. Corsa Crew Facebook. Slick Obsession, but me personally, I'm not on Facebook. Okay. All right. And what's the number for you guys? You know the number of heart? Uh, not by heart, but I can. He's going to pull that number up for you guys so you can call, get your stuff done, come out here, check them out. Uh, I do a lot, of, I mean, a little bit of everything, right? So Actually, Slick Obsession. Right. right. See, perfect. There you go. Yeah. Right there on the shirt. Screenshot that. Give them a call. And um, that's Slick Obsession right there. So he's still pulling up the Corsa Crew number. All right. Corsa Crew number 662 mm -hmm. 299 1821. Okay. All right, guys. And then that's going to pop up on the screen, too. So you have that. But that's it, man. That's been a good one for Cars Matter City. So until the next video, peace. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>